All right, this is coming in the door of my shop. You can see I've got a sink, recycle bin, a bathroom. Clear in the back, you can see the mini lathes that belong to the club. I've got six club lathes there and one of my own for when we have classes. Uh, big rack there full of cardboard boxes. Those are all plywood templates for scroll saw projects. Okay, we go from the scroll saw projects down to the refrigerator and now down across the front of the shop and now we're looking at the stuff I've turned in woodworking back to where my truck is parked and back to the front door that we came in moving down a little bit further we've got the microwave uh, the red toolbox is my glass bead stuff and just a few odds and ends of scroll saw projects and everything else hanging up there in the balance uh, down below we just kind of keep some junk and wood and supplies and more scrap wood. We come on around here's the table that I set at a lot. You can see the two scroll saws uh, sitting there in the background. I've got a TV overhead and some of the rest of my shop. Let's start back up at the TV overhead and there is about 10 scroll saws and wood piled on top of them. The garage door, my bandsaw, the dust collector, and a work table and the two scroll saws there. Then we've got the computer for running the CNC router. And there is the CNC router. Now back from the other side of the table, there's the area where I always set my projects to take the pictures of every day. Uh, plastic wrap, the wood rack. There's a window going into my office. Under the towel there is a vinyl cutter. And then I go over into the wood rack. And that goes back to my office. Okay, from the wood rack, uh, I guess we can look at the stuff on the counter there. Just kind of junk piled. My sanding area. Uh, my clamping area. Lots of clamps. We go on to my surface sander and more tools down the rack. And then there's the shield for my lathe. Coming down, I've got my Delta surface planer and my drill press. Now looking on up to the front of the shop, uh, there's my blue smock for turning. The front door, a work table up there with the sanding stuff and my two lathes, one behind the curtain. Let's get a little bit better look at the lathe sitting there. Turning tools up overhead. Alright, as we come on around, uh, the router table sitting back in there. Uh, the belt sander standing up. Uh, the table saw there in the background, and then you can see some of the wood pile. And we can swing around, there's the drill press, all that stuff, and back down to the other end of the shop. And then as we come around the end, there's the door going into my office. You come in the office, there's the desk, there's the door going back into what used to be my gun shop. Some shelves and a table set up with different racks of stuff. Okay, well, let's move around. We've got some bookshelves over here full of books, uh, old magazines, a little bit of everything. We've got a full-size office copier, uh, paper storage, my laser copier, a four-drawer file cabinet, the door coming in, and my computer sitting in the corner with more books and stuff and then looking out into the shop and my desk and pan along and get some of the stuff I've got a few boxes I've got some clocks this is the back of my rack then if we come back and go down on the floor I've got a few boxes of bowls stacked in there then we start in I've got some tea candle holders and some boxes of little boxes and other scroll or turn stuff 
And then we've got a shelf there that's set up with some of my old scroll saw projects. Then if we move back down this side, I've got a lot of the turn projects and it's going to be real hard to get them pictured uh, because of the fact that it's so close here. We'll try to walk down and get a little bit of it and as you can see we're across the back and here's back to our scroll saw projects. Now as we come around and turn the corner we've got a few more scroll saw projects back here and some across the top and as we turn there's a few more down there we've got some clocks and stuff here uh, a few more scroll saw projects and then we've got some more down here in this area of scroll saw projects now as we come on around the corner we start into some of the old scroll saws and then as we look back up the aisle we see we've got quite a few more old scroll saws, a few more turn projects, and some more of the old scroll saws. Now let's try to get down here and see some of these scroll saws. As you can see, I've got just a few. Uh, they're kind of getting packed in here now because I'm running out of room. So we'll go down about this far. Now let's zoom around here, and we've got a few more down there on the end. And as we come back around, there's just a few stuck in here. A uh, little bit of everything, all different kinds of scroll saws. Some of the neat ones are something like this that is a wood lathe, a table saw on the end, and you adjust the blade here, and then on the other end it has a scroll saw attached. And this was made up in Minneapolis, or Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This was made up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin around 1900 and it's line shaft driven but again we can scroll back here and see some of the old scroll saws that I had and as you can see I've got just a few and a little bit more scroll saw work there in the background the chandeliers that I've built and as we zoom on around go back to the clocks and the stairway and a few more boxes of turn stuff with some more old scroll saws and as we come on around we've still got more boxes of turn stuff so I've got quite a selection up here